I'm sure you guys have heard of the pink sauce situation, and in case you haven't and you're not in the loop, I'll get you up to date. This lady on TikTok started going viral in June for this pink sauce contraption, and pretty much the whole the whole reason it went viral is obviously because most sauces aren't pink, and you think a pink sauce would actually taste pretty gross, but she started posting videos of giving it to random strangers and they seem to really like it so it started to go super viral for her only 18 percent of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel don't be part of the 81 percent subscribe to the channel you have nothing to lose the way she capitalized off it was obviously selling her own pink sauce and it went super viral as a product but that's when the problems started happening now obviously the first part that happened was there was a mix-up on the nutrition label and apparently she didn't spell vinegar right and that was a very vin minimal problem but the real problem was that they were shipping the sauce through UPS trucks and if you didn't know UPS trucks are very hot so most of the pink sauces came to people's houses very spoiled and I'm talking like a, a large majority of them especially because this pink sauce contains milk products and if you didn't know not refrigerating milk products and shipping them for two weeks is not a good idea so the first time she addressed any problems was when she was make, when she addressed the nutrition label problem which was even i don't think anyone thought it was a real problem you know not having the right amount of servings and spelling vinegar wrong but that's what she decided to address not that they're shipping milk products through the ups that could take sometimes one to two weeks to get to people's houses and uh, most of the time it was spoiled and gross but a big update just came through on the pink sauce situation she recently has been getting a lot of backlash in the comments and be uh, and rightfully so because she's selling products that you know are contain milk and they're shipping for like two weeks in the hottest time of the entire year so she's getting a lot of backlash and so what does she do does she decide to change the shipping shipping route so they can go into refrigerated trucks no does she change anything no not really you know what she did she added a pretty much legal warning label when you're purchasing stuff it says once the seal is willingly open on the bottle it is considered yours and we cannot offer any exchange or refund and that's the thing it says willingly open in compared to when they explode so they're not willingly open you know because they're sitting in the sun and it's milk <laughs> the terms also continue saying please understand you are purchasing with free will and crazy flavor ink does not indulge in the intention of promoting inadequate products well it's great that they're not indulging in it but i don't know about you guys but the free will part actually scared actually worries the hell out of me because i i don't know what you know when you guys go to the grocery store do you feel like you have to sign a contract to buy like any of the products especially including the sauces they're saying you know if it's uh, i'm purchasing it with my own free will so pretty much if anything happens to it it's on me and it's like yeah i don't know about that i don't know if i have to sign away my free will to buy any other kind of sauce you know if i'm buying pasta sauce i'm definitely not signing away my free will to uh, uh, buy it and that's just a major red flag to me i would have much preferred she decided to start shipping it in refrigerated trucks i'm sure it wouldn't have been that much of a big step up you know obviously i don't know the process of finding you know you have to ship it somehow and refrigerated trucks are specialty so i get that but when you're shipping it through the ups you know obviously i haven't heard of anyone getting sick or having you know having to go to a hospital but that's probably because they're not you know silly enough to eat spoiled pink sauce well thank goodness but i'm sure someone's bound to happen and that leads to the other part of the story there's this tiktoker that pretty much faked his death because of the pink sauce he faked his death during the pink sauce and that's a i don't agree with that i mean that's actual like slander or defamation i don't know the legal terms enough but yeah that's crazy thing to do obviously i understand the guy's intent even though he said he wasn't trying to negatively affect her business which that's obviously what he was trying to do he oh hey i died from eating the pink sauce you shouldn't do it either that's what he was that's what his intent was but yeah he said that wasn't his intent oh it was a social experiment to see how fast people spread misinformation i just i don't agree with that at all he's tricking people and defaming people and the problem is 
you can actually get sick from this. And now people are only going to focus on the guy who pretended to get sick on it. Oh, well, people aren't actually getting sick. Look at this guy. He's really big and he pretended to be sick when this is, you know, this is actual stuff that can make you sick. Eating spoiled milk products can make you sick. Now, people are only going to focus on the guy that decided to lie about it. And uh, I, I, the, the thing is, after all these things keep piling up and she goes on a live stream and pretty much says she doesn't know what the FDA is. And I don't know about you guys, but when I'm buying food products and uh, the person making the food products doesn't know that the F and FDA stands for food and drug you know, regulation, I'm very concerned. She says, well, I'm not selling medical products. That's what the FDA is for. And uh, that's obviously not the case. And it all came to a head when Chef Pai, as she known for her viral pink sauce, goes on IG Live because the FDA came to her house. And I'm going to show you the clip. We haven't shipped out any packages since, you know, we have became aware of this issue. We also let our customers know that we are working expeditiously to correct any issues expeditiously that we, you know are facing right now today for the pink sauce to be as successful why is she filming this though and also to you know show the people that actually support the sauce that it is safe and we are taking the precautions to make sure that they are not worried about their health concerns okay. and we fix the past i feel like it would be better if she just didn't answer the door and then went to a lawyer compiled an email then sent it to the fda money creating something that might not be accurate right. yet if you have like a draft copy you could send it and then i can review it with you it. right approve it and say hey you're good to go now right uh and okay. then at that time we can also well next week because we have a, a conference i'll promote that half, first part of next week okay after that i'll be able to either revisit and discuss with you or call you to discuss it why is she posting this to begin with for you at all though i will give it to you yeah. right now you got my card no nah, i need to get him my personal number <laughs> Oh yeah, y'all see? Legitimate business. Yeah, so this is, I don't know why she really live streamed this stuff. Obviously it's because it's like a PR move, you know, trying to see that I'm getting it done and that, uh, you know, everything's, you know, not a problem. But I think if anything, it made her look worse because, you know, it says in her state apparently you don't have to get fda approval to sell food products if you make it in your own kitchen which is what she appears to be doing but it's made such a big big uptick on online crap and all the negative publicity the fda the fda decided to actually come to this girl's house and i think that's actually crazy but it makes complete sense because you know she's selling milk products that go through the ups trucks and it's bound to make someone sick if it hasn't already it just hasn't went viral you know what i mean we haven't heard about anyone getting sick because it just hasn't went viral on the internet yet but it's bound to happen so i don't know it was a weird flex but okay she posted that video of the fda coming to her house and just let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and i'll see you in the next one